In the following lesson, we will introduce how to enter formulas in Excel using absolute reference to a particular cell and also using relative reference to the cell. We will also introduce functions or formulas to calculate the maximum of a data range, the minimum of the range, to count the number of data elements in a particular range, to selectively count the number of data elements and to use the power function in Excel, which is raising a number to a particular power. In an earlier lesson, we had calculated the grand total sales for this store using the sum function in Excel and we had also calculated the total sales broken up across the four customer segments using the sum if function. Now, we will calculate the percentage contribution of these customer segments towards the grand total sales, which is nothing but the total sales for that particular customer segment divided by the grand total sales. So for that, we simply divide the total sales, let's say for the first customer segment, corporate, divided by the grand total sales. We can also change the format of these numbers by selecting these numbers, right click, format cells, choosing a percentage format with two decimal places. Now, to calculate the percentage contribution for the other segments, the home office, consumer, small business, we can copy this formula for these other segments. So we do a copy. However, notice what happens if we copy and paste the formula. We get an error there. Why do we get an error? If you notice, the formula that has been copied, the numerator refers appropriately to the total sales for home office but the denominator now has incremented and rather than referring to the cell E8409, it refers to the cell E8410. So to prevent such kind of incremental copying, what we need to do is to go back to the formula, our original formula, and make some changes in the denominator so that when this formula is copied and pasted, the denominator always refers to the particular row, which is row 8409. Or in other words, we need to fix the row so that when this formula is copied, the row is not incremented. So we fix the row by putting a dollar sign in front of the row. So now, if we copy and paste this formula, the formula has been properly copied and the denominator, notice, is referring to, rightly, is referring to the cell E8409. And this can then be copied for the other two segments also. So that's the contribution of these various customer segments towards the grand total sales. We will also introduce a few more Excel functions that are helpful in the study of business statistics. Namely, the max function, the min function, the count function, the count if function, the power function. So the max function, as the name suggests, calculates the maximum of a particular range. For example, if we wish to calculate the maximum of the sales across these four customer segments, we'll do a max open parenthesis, select this data, and then close parenthesis. So it will give you the maximum sales among the set of those four sales. Similarly, the minimum sales are calculated as min, open parenthesis, selecting the range of data, close parenthesis. It gives you the minimum sales across the set of those four sales. Count, as the name suggests, counts the number of observation in a given range. So count, open parenthesis, you select the entire range, close parenthesis. So it counts the number of data points in that range, which is four. Count if extends the count function and adds an if statement to it. So for example, if we wish to count the number of sales, across this set of four sales, which are in excess of $3 million. So we would do 
is equal to count f open parenthesis we need to specify the range first the range is the set of these four sales comma then we need to specify the criteria and the criteria as we mentioned was sales in excess of three million dollars so we do apostrophe greater than three million close apostrophe and close parenthesis so this is the command count if the sales in that specified range is in excess of $3 million. Do a enter. So it gives us the number 3, and which is the power function is used to calculate powers of number. For example, if we wish to calculate 3 raised to the power 10, we would do uh, is equal to power open parenthesis the number 3 comma and the power which we want to raise it to which is 10 so the answer is 59049 we could have also calculated the same number by doing is equal to 3 then using the special hat character and then the number 10 so 3 raised to power 10 